Yes, it's new amp day. I have got myself uh, Tweed, Tweed Deluxe 5E3. If you watch one of my earlier videos, I tested a 5 watts Tweed from China. And uh, I really liked that one and I said that I need to get one of my own because I borrowed it. Um, so I did, but this one is 20 watts. So uh, because I, I would like to kick with it, play with the band and stuff. And the 5 watt is very nice, but uh, I think it's a bit too low wattage to uh, perform well on, uh, on smaller venues and stuff with the band. So I got this and uh, I barely tested it. So it plays really loud, so um, that shouldn't be a problem. Typical Tweed Deluxe layout here. Two channels, um, bright and normal. And it has uh, one and two input on each channel. And that is that the two is minus six dB. And uh, it has uh, separate volumes for the, for the bright and normal channel. It has, they share uh, one tone. Uh, and uh, I've learned that the tone, it goes up to around eight or nine, and it becomes brighter up to around eight or nine. And from there, it really goes darker. So uh, when I tested it, this, it, it really is like that. So, um, so uh, that is supposedly a feature of the Tweed Deluxe amp. It will get darker from nine and up to 12 uh, on the tone. Yes, this amp took a beating uh, during transportation from China to Norway. And um, the rectifier tube was broken, so this has been replaced. This got pushed out a bit and the chassis is really uh, kind of bent, so it, it took some kind of hard hit. Uh, but uh, I have had it looked over, so it's, it's okay. All, all is working fine and it's uh, technically okay. So, uh, so I'm happy with that. Uh, for now, the, the rest is stock, but I will probably uh, replace them and experiment with the sound with, from other uh, tubes. But uh, this test will be with, with this uh, stock uh, tubes. It is the typical layout with uh, two 6v6. Uh, two uh, 12 uh, AX7 tubes and the rectifier tube, 5 ARY. And it has uh, 8 ohms speaker output. So I will test it with uh, three different speakers today uh, because I have them available. But later on I might test it with uh, maybe a Celestian Alnico Blue, which I've heard is uh, supposed to be good with the amp like this. Uh, maybe you have a suggestion to other speakers that will work well with it, so please leave a comment if you do. Let's play it. <laughs> Thank you. 
done playing it and I can tell you that I like it. Uh, playing it uh, through these speakers was a good exercise for me to check out which one uh, will be my favorite with this amp. Um, and um, here uh, I haven't listened very uh, much to the recordings, but uh, in the room the Cannabis Rex uh, sounded best to me. But uh, the low end seemed to be, be a bit undefined and too loose in a way. So I'm hoping to maybe fix that with uh, replacing the tubes. Um, I didn't find that the 10 inch had the same um, challenge. Uh, it was much more controlled in the low end area there, more compressed in a way. And the one I found least appealing was the Celestian GP12. Uh, but that might have to do that it is uh, put a bit higher up than the two others that are on the floor. And uh, because it, that it's higher, it leads to that I get it straight into my ear. And it may be uh, the reason that I found it a bit too harsh. Uh, so I need to, to listen to the recordings to, to judge it. Um, but uh, Cannabis Rex has been my favorite for a long time now. And uh, I can hear that it has that good warm sound that I like. And uh, the way it breaks up and um, there's a lot of good qualities in that speaker. And I'm hoping that I'll fix that low end with uh, replacing uh, tubes with some decent ones. I didn't get to play it as loud as I wanted here uh, at home uh, because I have neighbors to uh, consider and uh, they probably think I'm already playing too loud. But uh, tomorrow I'll uh, bring it to uh, a rehearsal with my band and uh, I bet I'll get to play it a bit louder to get it more into that gainy area because I, I didn't get that here. Um, I could do it with an overdrive, uh, but that's not the same. I would like to hear the amp, how it really uh, gets into that uh, breakup area. And also when I used an overdrive or a boost pedal on the Cannabis Rex, it tightens the low end more. So, so uh, that could be a fix if uh, the tubes won't do it. Yeah, I, I could easily just bring it to a gig right now as it is, um, would be great. It's, it sounds uh, good. I, I felt good playing it immediately, especially with that Cannabis Rex speaker. Um, and, um, but uh, I, I won't close the door for uh, experimenting with uh, maybe a different kind of speaker. So if you want to share your experience with a Tweed amp and uh, a speaker that you think I should consider, please let me know in the comments because that would be um, great to hear. So uh, till next time. Bye for now.